Welcome back to Summer Money. Algae Tech is an advanced biofuels company focused on commercialising technology that produces algae to manufacture sustainable fuels such as biodiesel and green jet fuel. Its shares debuted on the ASX last week, marking the first advanced biofuels algae company to list on a main board in the world. For a look at the group's share price performance since listing and plans for the future, the company's executive chairman, Roger Stroud, joins me now in the studio. Roger, great to have you on board the program. John, thank you very much. If I can start by asking for you to explain a little bit more about the product Algae Tech's developing. Okay. Well, it's we've been working on it for about seven years and we decided to go down the path of growing algae, or microalgae as they call it, which is a plant. Now I've, I've joked with you about this before, yeah, Roger. Yeah. Algae or algae, what do you we're think we'll say? We're going to call it algae. Algae, or right. Aussies call it algae. <laughs> Many right. others call it algae. We'll, right. we'll stick with algae. John, uh, it's a micro, uh, it's a unicellular plant, so it's the smallest plant uh, that can grow. Mm -hmm. But it, in similar to a tree or any other plant, in the sense it's photosynthetic. So in other words, it needs light and it grows just like any other plant. The interesting thing about algae, and it's a big problem if you've got a swimming pool and you don't put the chlorine in there, it can grow very fast. Mm. So what we've done, we've developed an engineering method for growing this algae at a very fast rate. Now, if you can grow at a very fast rate, you can make it economic. And I guess one would say, well, why the hell does some want, um, want, someone want to do that? Mm. Well, the reason you want to do it is because the interesting thing about algae is that it's got very interesting uh, properties. Now, there are thousands of different algaes around, but you can have oily algaes. You know fish oil? Mm. That's, the fish don't make the oil. They eat the oily algae it's in the, the algae. ocean and they store it. So how different is the algae being detected to the algae that people see forming on their swimming pools, Roger? Uh, in many ways not a lot different. Mm. Uh, probably the ones on the swimming pool on the whole will be green algae and they're actually quite high in sugars. So the algae has the ones we've been working with or we, we decide to select are 50% oils, uh, about 30% uh, sugars and about 20% proteins. So you can take the veg oil and you can convert it into biodiesel. You can take the sugars and you can convert into ethanol. You take the protein, pelletise it and give it to the pigs or the chickens or, or animal feed generally. Or you can take all that biomass and you can hydrocrack it and turn it into green jet fuel, as they call mm. it. So it's a very a, a lot of utility in the plant. Now, some of those products are more advanced than others, I take it, Roger. So green jet fuel, for example, are there still ongoing trials around the world to formulate a, um, a fuel that, that will work? Where are we at with green jet fuel? As far as green jet fuel is mm. concerned, it's a reality. The science is there. No one has to really go down that path. What is the challenge is getting sufficient yields in growing the algae that it, on price terms it can compete with the existing mineral sourced fuels. Mm. We're comfortable we've got a solution to that which is a 40 foot sea container. We, we have appropriate mechanisms inside. We've already completed a pilot plant uh, study in the US in Atlanta and because it was transparent we dismantled it so we wouldn't mm. show it in our IP. That, fair enough. But, but the external uh, validation is what we're, uh, we raise the money for. Tell me a little bit about the origins of Algae Tech. The technology oh, I understand was developed in the United States, is that the case? And, uh, it's a, and it's technology you now have rights to? Walk me through that. No, I'll walk you through it. Uh, I've been involved in the biodiesel industry for over 10 years and Earl McConkie, who's my, um, co my partner, uh, has been involved in that same industry for about the same period of time. Originally, he, for 25 years, he was with Dow Chemical and ended up leaving as head of their polymer and specialty chemical division. And he's, he's, so he's very steeped in chemical engineering and the skills. We met in about 2003 in Boston and we realised that a sustainable, bio, a sustainable product or feedstock for biofuel was very important. Turning food into fuel is not a good look and it's not sustainable. You don't deforestation, 
in or reference reasons. to things like palm oil, palm oil for yeah, example, yeah. where swathes of forest in Indonesia have been removed for what will eventually be a biofuel. Precisely. Do you need a lot of space to produce algae as a fuel, Roger? No, we don't. Uh, we can actually do it and that's one of the advantages mm. of what we're talking about. We need our light collectors but in terms of uh, the actual space required in comparison to say the pond method, which I'm not dismissing but just giving an example, we're on about a thousandth of the footprint and on and about 10% of the footprint if we take the light collection system in. Mm. So it's actually quite discreet and you can put it on any land you like. I mean it can be degraded land, it doesn't really matter. It just depends where your, your uh, source is. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the listing. Um, Algae Tech listed on the ASX a week ago at 20 cents. What have we seen since then? Well, John, uh, I'm delighted to say, to say we listed last Thursday. We've maintained a price of around 24 cents. In fact, today we've got a high of 28 cents. And at the moment, uh, on the bid, it's 24 and on the offer, it's 25 cents. So we're holding our own mm -hmm. very nicely. So I guess uh, one could say that uh, shareholders to date have a 25% gain on their investment. And we have at the moment 560 odd shareholders, which we're delighted uh, with. And we're looking forward to uh, significant, um, let's say, threshold announcements as time goes by. Now, I understand that the company has a credit facility available to it. What are your uh, expansion plans? How might you use that uh, over this year or next, Roger? Well, as far as the expansion plans are concerned, the, the first aim is to, uh, is to utilise the monies we've raised and to put in a demonstration facility at the Manildra site down just north of Nowra. Mm. And in parallel with that, we're going through a... Um, a commercialisation um, um, procedure, uh, getting approvals from the local government, EPA and so on. So by the end of the year, we hope to be in a position where we can show the, to the world the this containers is, this are is working, what does. this is what it does, <laughs> that's what goes in, this is what comes out, that'll be externally validated by an SGS or someone like that and then we hopefully will have the appropriate approvals and we'll get on with the uh, commercial facility which is where we'll need the additional monies. So the test plant hopefully finished by roughly when, Roger? Uh, I think in terms of erection the latter part of this year it shouldn't take too long to go through a validation process. As Earl would say you only need a thimble and about seven days you've got all you need. <laughs> because it grows so quickly. Well, it can, it can multiply up to, to um, every two hours. Now I'm sure Algitech is hoping customers <coughs> multiply as quickly. What is that stage for the company in looking at uh, customers who will want a supply of the product? Well we're talking it's a fuel they're all fuels. So we are talking to various um, off-takers of, of the uh, products and we don't think there'll be any concern with that at all as long as we can compete on price and that's where we're very confident. Will that be a challenge? What's the, com the, com the competition like? What other entrants are there in the market here or overseas doing biofuture? Well, as far as, uh, let's say, the, the algae industry yes. we'll talk about, which is the advanced biofuel section, mm. as opposed to the food to, to fuel, uh, there are quite a few aspirants in the US, mainly looking at the pond method. Uh, we don't look at it as a, a competition. We look at it as collaboration in the sense that uh, the old expression, one swallow doesn't make a summer. It's good, it's good to have an industry with a few participants in it. And uh, after all, there's more than one oil company. Well, that's right, where the technology can grow and develop and, and mature. Roger, we that's are awesome. out of time. Roger Stroud from Algae Tech. Let's chat again when that plant's up and running. John, look Thanks forward for to it. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much. And that is a summer money for this evening.